Hi, Kirsty Young here. Today we're going to start pruning the apple trees. This one's fairly simple, not much to do on it. I'll start with this one. When pruning your fruit trees, the first thing to do is look for old diseased wood that comes out. Anything that crosses over other branches gets in the way. Anything that's heading towards the centre of the tree. This branch here is just going right through the middle. That's getting in the road of this branch. That's the first one to take out. Right, we'll cut it right here. This one doesn't really need any more. Oh, you can see how that one's travelling up here. I'll cut it here. That still allows these to grow up. They might get in the road next year, in which case I'll give them the chop then. This one here is wanting to head inwards where it doesn't really have any business. You can go. This one here is crisscrossing over there. Doesn't need to be there. That one's just broken off. So that can go. This one in the middle here wants to head in woods. It can go. This one here heading in towards the middle. Imagine the tree in full leaf, what it will be like. All these little branches getting in the road of each other that one too. These two are heading inwards towards each other. I'll take this one out. Let that one go a bit. Next year it'll probably want to be cut back. Here's another one heading inwards. I'll cut it back. This is north. Uh, so in the southern hemisphere we travel this way. So I want a north facing bud when I want to prune it back. I'll cut it right back to here, to a north facing bud. That will help that open up there. I could take this one here out, but I might leave it for this year. Same with that one, I'll leave it for this year. They're very close together. These two are just going to interfere with each other. When this is in full leaf from here, here and here, it's going to be out like that. And then this one wants to do it as well. This one here is a better shape. It has three directions going on. So I'm going to take this one out right back here. That opens it up nicely. So that's all I'll do for that one. It's nice and opened out. Crisscrossing things taken out. Things wanting to go too much into the centre gone. It's a little bit of a funny shape from the outset. That's because we've had possums in there breaking branches and you have to work around that. Speaking of possums breaking branches, this one had a severe possum attack. I just cut back all the damaged branches. This could actually work to our advantage, having everything down low. Um, the only thing I would prune off this tree here is in here. You can see you've got this branch coming in, getting in amongst all this lot. Same with this one here. This one's got a very jagged end. It's one that got attacked by um, wallabies or possums. Probably wallabies because it's right near the fence. The one I want to keep is this one here. This one I don't want. I don't want this bit because it's just coming up in here to get in the road. Out it comes. Same with this one here, I don't want that. I will keep this and allow this to head out to here 
with all that open space available to it. And that's all I'll do on this tree. It has lots of big open spaces for branches to extend. Here's a young pear tree. It gave us our first fruit last year. This year it's going to get a haircut. It acts like an apple tree in so far as it wants to go up if you would let it. But we don't want it to do that. There's a lot of yarrow growing in here. It makes it hard to see where the fruit spurs were from last year. So I'm going to trim that back. This tree only gave us two or three pears as its first crop. This is the fruit spur here. They're a funny bulbous shape for their first year. And you can see a little dimple here where the, where the stalk attached. For some reason the dog's decided he has to be on the inside of the netting, just where I want to work. Wedge-tailed eagles have come over. Oh, it's landed in the gu dead gum tree above us and the plovers are not happy. The pruning of this tree is pretty straightforward. I'm just going to prune it down to a height that I like. There are no crisscrossing branches except for this one wanting to head inwards so I'll take that out same with that one that you can't see because of the yarrow but I didn't trim on that side there's one here that wants to uh, grow flush along the other one so that one can go the plovers are going off because there's a, two big wedge-tailed eagles up in the gum tree above me beautiful things they are I need to take into consideration my northern aspect, which is this way. The northern branches I'll make slightly shorter, the southern ones slightly higher. Uh, this is an eastern facing block, so they can be a little shorter on the eastern side as well. There's a lovely north facing bud right there. So that can come off right where it is. pretty much a north facing bud so that can come off. I want something eastern facing that looks alright. It's got a bit of bird poo or something on it but it will be fine. Slightly higher. There goes one eagle. And then this western facing one, which will be slightly higher than the eastern facing one. There goes the other eagle, and a crow is seeing it on its way. Beautiful, slow, languorous flaps of the wings. This one I'd like to head that way. I've got a bud wanting to go that way there. Don't have a lot of other options otherwise. I will take that. The eagles have gone, the crows come back, it's happy now. I'll take that next year. I might uh, open that up a bit more. This bud here wants to head in that direction where I don't really have anything going. So that can come right down. Although there is this one wanting to head in that way, which is uh, not what I want. So you can come out and there are a few down the bottom heading in woods which you can't really see what I'm doing because I didn't cut the arrow back on that side. This one here could be in the way. When you think about how it's going to be when these grow out full of leaf they'll come out to here, these ones will come out to here. So this one here is pretty much going to be in the road. So I'm going to take it out. 
that opens that up nicely. Another inward facing one that I don't want, same with that one. And job done for the year. Trim back this yarrow and bracken. Just wondering what my chickens are going on about. Nothing to do with those eagles. That opens it up considerably. There's a lot of new frothy growth here. Um, it could have been protected from the frost by the, the deadheads, but it's pretty frost hardy anyway. So I'm not particularly worried about it. We will get more frosts before the end of the season. Here's another pear tree that needs a bit of a haircut. It's been doing its own thing for the last two years. I have a lot of uh, branches and things around the bottom. That's to modify chicken behaviour. They spend a lot of time underneath this acacia cognata. It's a very safe place for them. But it's also a good scratching area, as you can see by these two little ones. They aren't fully grown yet and haven't integrated into the rest of the flock. They tend to hang around here quite a bit. This tree gave our first crop this year. Most of the pears were along here. There are a lot of spurs along here and a couple in there as well. I'm going to get rid of all that top bit. It's cluttered, going nowhere, it's out of reach. Well, it's going to the sky and out of reach. I don't want that. Again, northern facing branches I want. It has a northern facing bud there. This one is um, northwestern facing. I'll keep that one. Cobble, what are you doing? Don't you even think about those chickens. They're not for you. Take that. Crisscrossing. So for that very reason alone, one would have to go. But again, I don't really want all that. There's an eastern facing one here. No, you leave those chickens alone. Come on. I should have got the smaller one. That bug is heading that way. I'll keep that. I'll keep that one because it's heading out that way. This one is heading this way. It's not likely to do a great deal. In fact, I'll keep this one here. heading west. This one can go all together. A whole new branch happening here. I'm going to trim it to here, but I'm going to get a better size pair of cutters. Okay, this one I will trim to here. It's a north-west facing bud. Let that grow. All these little ones, I'll let them grow, but I don't want it going up to the sky like that. I'll make my last bud, make this that eastern facing one. Again, an eastern facing one. In fact, I'll do it right down here, quite low. And I'll have a northern facing one on that side. If there's one here by the feel of it. And that's 
much more sensible. Hello, chooks. You've all come to see what I'm doing. So, fruit spurs here, here and here. So they'll stay. Fruit spurs, all of these, all have fruit on it. I'll let them stay, of course. This one here is coming up, getting in the road. We don't want that here. We don't need all this leggy growth up here. I don't really need that one. It's just wanting to go straight up. There's a nice uh, southeast facing one. I'll let that one stay. And then this one here. If left to its own devices, it will continue to go right up. I'll give it an eastern facing bud. Um, this one here. And I might go higher up because this is all going to be quite full of leaf. So to give it a bit of a chance, I'll cut it there. Nice eastern facing bud to encourage it to head that way. This one here is just going up. Not doing anything useful. So that can go. That's sitting in the middle there. Um, I'll leave it this year, I'll probably take it out next year. So that just leaves these two here. I'll have a small branch here, which probably won't really amount to anything. Um, I think I'll take that one out. Of these two, this one wants to head towards the trunk. So that one can go. It's just too close to the trunk, it'll get in the way. This one here will just continue up if, if left to its own devices. So what I think I'll do is nice northern facing bud there. Just trim it off to encourage it to head out that way come springtime. That looks a lot more respectable. You can't really go wrong with pruning your fruit trees. At worst, you can have what happened when I had to just trim back all the damaged branches from the possum damage, and we lost fruit for one season because all the fruiting spurs went with it. Um, but this year they'll be fine. So. so that's it, finished, ready for spring and summer fruiting.